prunes are a plum, the particular type of plum that you can dry without fermenting. Prunes is my number one crop, and it always has been. And Joe Turkovich, a farmer here in Yellow County. We're still growing the same variety that we did uh, 50 years ago. In fact, 80 or 90 years ago. About half of the prunes that are grown in California are consumed inside the United States. The other half is exported around the world. I have a certain amount of pride when I know that my fruit uh, is being consumed somewhere across the globe. When I tell someone where I'm from, the first thing I say is I'm from California because they know right away what kind of crops we grow in our history. This Mediterranean climate only exists in about five or six places in the world. We're always uh, trying to reduce chemical inputs into the farm. A very high percentage of uh, barn owls diet is gophers, which is exactly what we want. So we've got a nice mutual relationship there. We provide housing and they do the work at night. Began farming at a very young age, learning to drive a tractor, harvest equipment, all of those things actually started in a dry plum orchard. My name is Nick McKelly. I'm a third generation dry plum farmer in Live Oak, California. My family were uh, Italian immigrants, came over here at the beginning of the uh, 20th century, and the farmland was just uh, unbelievably fertile. The flavors of a dry plum are, I would say, an intense sweetness. There's several dishes where uh, they've used the dried plums in the restaurant, and they're fantastic, they're great. When we came out to California, we were kind of blown away by just the ingredients, the availability, the freshness, and the ease in which you can get all this stuff. I'm Sarah Rich, and this is my husband, Evan Rich, and we're the chef owners of Rich Table in San Francisco. In California, you go to the farmer's market, you walk through and you say, oh, look, this just came in, and you make a dish with that. There's more of a spontaneity to it. One of the unique ways we try to use the dry plums we mix them into the salsa verde with the kale. For us, it's all about balance. The uh, acidity helps even out all that sweetness that comes from the dried plum. The dish together kind of works really well. It's got a lot of balance of texture, flavors, sweetness, and earthiness. We can grow anything in California, and there's always something in season. What's going on here in California for the benefit of agriculture is really tremendous. I love what I do, and I think that most farmers probably would feel the same way. I can go to a Giants game, I can get up to uh, the mountains and do some skiing, just a, an ideal location for me. There's always something here that's ready to eat, and it's a healthy lifestyle that we have. California, always in season.